Hi, this is Will with NDL Coding. Today we will be discussing emulator performance for Android development, specifically the Android virtual devices that come with the Android Software Development Toolkit, or AVDs for short. If you're experiencing frustratingly slow emulator performance with the Android virtual devices, this video may help you resolve that issue. If your development system has an Intel processor, you're in luck. Intel has released the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, which is a hardware-assisted virtualization engine or hypervisor that uses Intel virtualization technology to speed up Android app emulation on the host machine. Our development machine today is a Windows 10 virtual machine. Running an emulator within an emulator is going to result in an additional performance hit, but because our host machine has an Intel processor and VMware allows us to virtualize the processor's Intel virtualization technology, we can see a drastic improvement that the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager provides to the Intel-based Android emulator. As you can see, this machine is configured with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 8 processor cores, which should prove sufficient for our development needs. I've already downloaded the HAXM application from Intel's website. I'm going to go ahead and install that now. I will leave a link to the download page in the description of this video below. I'm taking the defaults here as I install the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager. And as the install finishes, I'm going to go ahead and fire up Eclipse where we will first visit the Android SDK Manager to ensure that we have an Intel x86 image installed. And as we look through here, we see that we do have the image installed for the Android 6.0 API 23, but as we scroll down, we see that it doesn't exist for anything else. All that means for us is that when we use our virtual devices, if we want to use an Intel image, we'll need to do a virtual device based on the current or 6.0 version of the SDK. Otherwise we will need to install the images for the other API levels of the SDK. Switching over to our non-virtualized development machine which also has the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager installed, we're going to create a pair of Android emulators, one using the ARM CPU and one using the Intel CPU to demonstrate the difference in performance. We'll name the first one Test ARM We'll base it on the Nexus 7 and we'll target the Android 6.0 release with the Intel ARM processor. We'll select no skin and we will create that device. Likewise, we'll create an Intel based device. We'll call it Test Intel. We'll also make that based on the Nexus 7. Our target, again, will be Android 6.0, API level 23, but this time we're going to choose the Intel Atom processor. Again, we will have no skin, and we'll set up our virtual device basically the same. We'll do a little bit of split screen action here, starting up both the ARM and the Intel virtual devices at the same time, the Intel being on the left, the ARM being on the right. And though we've sped the video up a bit, you'll notice that the time it takes the Intel emulator to load is about 45 seconds. The ARM emulator, on the other hand, takes considerably longer at almost 4 minutes and 30 seconds. The performance increase with the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager is significant and very well worth your time to install. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below and subscribe for future videos. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or requests, please leave them in the comments section below. Please see the video's description for links to the Intel Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager software and one of our earlier videos about setting up Eclipse for Android development on Windows 10.